Hello my dear students, welcome to the MSN Academy, myself Minu Shivastav and today we are going to discuss about the radiation sterilization. As the name states that in the radiation sterilization, the main sterilizing agent is the radiation. The radiation part we have divided into the two main parts, one is the ionizing radiation and second is the non-ionizing radiation. In some books, the radiation sterilization included in the physical sterilization also. But some books refer the separate sterilization and they are not included in the physical sterilization. But in your, as per your syllabus, they have written separately that the radiation sterilization, so I have taken it separately. Okay, so here the radiation sterilization is the most most important sterilizing agent for especially heat sensitive materials. Okay, so the radiation sterilization is mainly important for the heat sensitive material, heat sensitive materials and we have divided the radiation sterilization into the two parts mainly on the basis of their mechanism of action. One is the non-ionizing radiation and second is the ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing and ionizing, what it means? Means if the radiation is not able to form ions, then it will degenerate the microorganism through the different other uh, methods so it will come under the non-ionizing radiation but if it forms the ions in the microbial system like hydroxyl ion like superoxide ion like other free radicals so these radiations comes under the category of the ionizing radiation in the non-ionizing radiations they are the two main examples are infrared and the UV rays means it's the ultraviolet rays but in the ionizing radiations mainly uh, uh, main three radiations like x-ray gamma ray and the cosmic rays are the important sterilizing agents here the non-ionizing radiations are the the non-ionizing radiations have the longer wavelength as compared to the visible range as we know that the what is the relation between the energy and the wavelength the energy is inversely proportional to the wavelength if wavelength is more then energy is low if wavelength is less then energy is high okay so wavelength is opposite to the energy okay so energy if the wavelength is as i have stated they have the longer wavelength so they have the lower energy okay because wavelength is more than energy is low okay so here the non-ionizing radiation as compared to visible range visible what is the visible range the visible in the visible range there are seven colors of the white light okay then we have violet indigo blue red orange red uh, all these the seven colors of the rainbow comes under the category of the visible range but the longer wavelength in the ionizing non-ionizing radiation comes that the <coughs> another side of the uh, visible range okay so here as compared to visible range they have the lower energy but what uh, <coughs> when the non-ionizing radiations strike on the surface they produce on the heat okay this is the some kind of the drawback you can say they produce the heat okay so here in the non-ionizing radiations there are the two main radiations one is the infrared and second is the ultraviolet in the infrared they kill the microorganism by the oxidation of molecule okay so in the infrared radiations they kill the microorganism by the oxidation reactions okay so how they sterilized the material they sterilized by the oxidation of molecule and the infrared used for the pre-packed items such as the syringes, catheters and cat guard, surgical items which are previously packed. Okay. So, the infrared able to penetrate these packings also. Okay. Here, the ultraviolet. What is the UV stands for? That is the ultraviolet. The radiations, ultra, the ultraviolet radiation has the range 2400 to 2800 angstrom. But in some books, don't get confused that in the some book, they have written in the nanometer. So, in the nanometer, it's a 240 to 280 nanometer. Okay. Because the 1 meter has a 10, that 1, uh, it's a, uh, in the angstrom is a 10 to the power minus 10 meter. And in the nanometer is the 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Okay. So, this is the one 
uh, that one zero you have to cut it down okay so but the ultraviolet radiation has a range 2400 to 2800 angstrom but in the range of in the 2600 angstrom ultraviolet rays is the most lethal action okay so that 24 2600 angstrom uh, radiation is the most lethal okay it has the bactericidal action how it acts it acts by the denaturation of the bacterial protein it damages the dna and how it damage it form the dimer of the pyrimidine what is the pyrimidine in the dna there are the two types of the nitrogen base purine and pyrimidine purine stands for adenine and guanine and the pyrimidine it stands for cytosine thymine and uracil so pyrimidine in the pyrimidine so in uh, what uh, why did they act they form the pyrimidine dimers so they degenerate or alter the dna formation okay and they inhibit the dna replication process also and they form the hydrogen peroxide okay they uses how they use the use to sterilize the ot ot stands for operation theta they used to sterilize the laboratories and they used to sterilize the different kinds of the entryways okay but the disadvantage is that they damage the skin okay okay they damage the skin and eyes and they do not uh, the penetrate the glass papers means the disadvantage of the ultraviolet is rays is that they do not penetrate the paper and glass cloth okay here now come to the second part that is the ionizing radiation in the ionizing radiation ionizing radiation is an excellent sterilizing agent and they penetrate deep into the object the main advantage is that they do not produce the heat they do not produce the heat so they are referred as the cold sterilization okay this is the main thing that in the non ionizing radiation they produce the heat but the ionizing radiation do not produce the heat so it comes under the category of cold sterilization okay they destroy the bacteria side bacterial endospore and vegetative cell but sometimes they are not effective as more in for the viruses okay so gamma rays in the ionizing radiations gamma rays cosmic rays and the x rays so gamma rays generally derive from the cobalt 60 okay okay so from the cobalt 60 we used for that have we derived by the gamma rays generated by the cobalt 60 okay how they act they act by the formation of toxic metabolites like or toxic ions like hydroxide ion like superoxide ion like hydrogen form formations superoxide formations okay and how these ions form by the ionization of the water the water molecule present in the microbial system so these ions are formed by the denaturation of water and this water molecule present or the moisture content present in the microbial flora microbial system okay so here the ionizing radiation is more effective than the non-ionizing radiation okay what is the uses of the radiation sterilization is that it is used to sterilize the thermolabile substances like antibiotic rubber steroid hormone they use for the surgical instrument like surgical blood cat gut and sutures so there are so many advantages and there are so many disadvantages also means this uh, all the material and the radiation sterilization is not suitable for all the kinds of the material okay and not uh, uh, all the radiations are able to destroy the uh, to provide the back uh, that and uh, to uh, destroy the endospores here we have completed the radiation sterilization i hope you have enjoyed the lecture stay safe stay healthy please like share and subscribe thank you